Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we fought our way through Carnelia Tower again, got to the top of it, we got a uh, power orb out of it. We also went to the guild branch and um, inci incise and um, talked to her, gave her one of the uh, zero field generators. And there's problems in the factory and uh, in Elmo Village. I'm actually going to head toward Elmo Village first. I fiddled, fiddled around a little bit with, a, with the cat gear in the f uh, last episode. And afterward, uh, between the episodes, I actually looked up what it does. Yeah, I did look it up. Um, what does that do? What does that actually affect? Um, wearing the entire set gives you a, a bonus of 50 speed. Um, which theoretically is good, but since many uh, kinds of equipments already have speed on them, um, also it's a huge drawback in terms of defense and everything. I mean, I, I could imagine it to be quite powerful if I have my action 4 equipped and then I have 50 speed, which gets multiplied by that again, and if I even cast clock up X on the character, I guess they're going to be going 4 times when the enemy goes once, but still... I, the damage is also less. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, Mrs. Mao, is there anything would, we could help with? Hmm, well, we've got soldiers patrolling regularly, so it's not too dangerous here. If anything, I guess I'd ask if you could make it so we could fill the baths, but... Well, no point in asking that, really. Hmm. Offer help anyway. But since we're here, why don't we have a look? I feel like we might be able to offer a bracer-like solution. Estelle? Oh, what would that be? Hmm, well, first I'd like you... First I'd like to borrow the pump shed key. Sure, that's fine, but... Pump shed key. Tita, since we're here, why don't we check out the pump? We might come up with something. Okay, sure. Ah, so that's your plan. Well, let's go have a look then. That's settled then. Let's go to the pump shed. Are we gonna... Uh, the only branch that is not currently equipped with the zero field generator is... Um, ruined, so we have one extra. You're not gonna waste that one extra, are you? Use pump shed key. Yeah, it's totally stopped. It's an old device, but it's still orbital driven. It's affected by the orbital shutdown phenomenon, just like everything else. Hmm. But the pump's ultimately just to deliver hot water from the spring there, is it right? I feel like there might be something we can do. We can't exactly carry it by bucket. We've got to find some way to make this device work. Oh, could we use a zero field generator on the pump? Mm, doubtful. According to the professor, they are limited to orbits no bigger than once you can carry in both hands. Guess not, then. Hmm. <laughs> Tita, what is it? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh ah, hmm. So this would go like this. Um, Tita? Well, unlike recent stuff, it doesn't have a very complex orbital mechanism. So all I need to do is take this thing here, then connect it to that thing over there. Oh, and don't you worry, I'll put things right back the way things were after the orbital shutdown phenomenon. Hmm. Yeah, this should do it. I think I might actually be able to get the pump working. What? You're not going to use a zero field generator, are you? Hey, <laughs> no, no. You remember, right, Joshua? The combustion engine? Ah. The combustion engine. You mean the one we used on the workshop devices before? Yep. Unlike the workshop equipment, the pump device doesn't have a very complex mechanism. If we can make the combustion engine drive the parts the orbit, the orbit was working, it should work as is. I, uh, I see. I hadn't considered that. So, where is this combustion engine? Um, 
I think it was stored at the landing port. We should be able to find out if we if we ask the maintenance chief. Maintenance chief Gustav at the landing port, huh? That reminds me, won't we need fuel to drive the combustion engine? Gasoline, right. Like before, we should ask down below that central factory. Alright. I'm gonna use one of those. Calling it a fancy name like combustion engine. Oh well. Let's leave it at that. I'm gonna get that thing. It's probably very heavy. I would imagine anyways. And we can't exactly let it fly, be flow, fl flown over there. I don't even know what it would say there. Have it be a... Is it really that late that I can't... That's... Uh, interesting. So my thinking has probably stopped a little bit. I... For me, it's generally in the morning I can do math really well and I, I can think really well and uh, toward the evening it just all my brain work um, is trash. But now I can't even... I don't know the past tense of flying. Uh, uh, f the word fly. Fly, flew, flew. I don't even know. The agreement is, ne is not... Uh, the the agreement is he's gonna check my freight vehicle next. Don't butt in. I looked over it just in case, but this isn't a breakdown. Apparently something like that orbital shutdown phenomenon thingy that happened before is in effect here. Orbmen stopping in their tracks, islands floating in the sky. Just what the heck is going on? <laughs> Holy! This is a bit darker than I'd imagined it would be. It looks like they found some lamps to light at least. I hope everyone here is okay. Speaking of which, the elevator will be dead, won't it? Definitely. We'll have to make use of the stairs if we want to go through the other floors. I know it's going to be horrible, but still, you're going to have to live through this. Oh my, bracers! You okay, Hazel? Seems pretty dark in here. Well, I have a lamp, so I'm okay, but... Most research activity has been completely suspended. Without orbital energy, there's not much we can do, really. Ah. Seems the situation is more serious than we, w we th thought. But right now is when the central factory's power is most needed. The entire staff is working together to resume the research as soon as possible. Yeah, if there's anything we can do, just say. Everyone, thank you. I hope we can count on you when, the when that time comes. Let's first get that combustion engine. The airport is right over here. Gustav. Oh, hey, if it isn't the gang. Hey, Gustav, it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Oh, it's Joshua. Haven't seen you in a long time. Well, a lot happened. Anyway, it seems like things are pretty tough here even now, huh? It seems like there was some kind of trouble. When the shutdown first hit, yeah, it was real rough. Well, the city's finally calmed down now. I see. For now, at least, it seems things are in hand. Yeah, somehow. Putting that aside, I'm guessing you need something? Yes, actually. Still explained the situation to maintenance chief Gustav and Ang asked him to lend them a combustion engine. I see, good eye, yeah. It's not a machine—it's uh, not a machine good for much except powering simple stuff. So I wouldn't mind just giving it, giving to you. But is there some problem? Well, you see, you got a bad timing. Is all we just lent it out to the royal army again. We brought it. We brought it when we went to swap the Arsales engine. Oh. So it'll be at least in Fortress? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Sorry, but if you want want to have it, do you mind asking them? It's kind of hard to just make a call in this situation if you know what I mean. Yeah, I got it. We make contact with Leeston Fortress on our side. It's hard, but it's not impossible, is it? First, we'll do the smart thing. 
We're gonna go to Faye and ask her uh, if she's there to give me gasoline. Because I really don't want to go all this way back again. Do 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 Um, Rudy? Oh, hey guys! Need something? Yeah, actually. So let's ask Rudy for some gasoline to repair the pump facility. Ah, that does sound rough. I got to Elmo's Hot Springs a lot, so I'd love to help out, but you've got bad timing. We don't have anything in stock right now. Oh! Well, this is a slight problem. Is there someone else? Is there someone there? Ah, Chief Murdoch! Tita and everybody else, too! I thought I heard voices from down here and wondered what could be going on. Did another case come up? I see, so that's it. Mm, I do remember ordering some gasoline from the Republic about a month ago. R really? One month, that's a long time for a delivery. It should be here by now, right? But, but sir, I haven't received anything like that. No, wait. I think when I ordered it, I said that there was no rush, so it was going to be delivered by sea, if I remember rightly. In other words, it wouldn't have come via airship, but by a normal ship. Yes, exactly. In which case, it was probably delivered quite, quite recently. Stands to reason it's probably stored somewhere in Rune right now. Makes sense. Thanks to the horrible shutdown phenomenon, distribution has been paralyzed after all. So we can get some if we go to the harbor in Ruin? Yes, that seems your best chance. One moment. Vagary Chief Murdoch wrote a short letter on the spot and signed it. Received Murdoch's letter. Give that letter of introduction to the harbor master of the Ruin port. I've asked him to give you the gasoline if they have any if they have any in. Thanks, Chief. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Pretty good writing skills there on a piece of paper and the, while standing. I couldn't read any of it if I did it myself. Sorry for all the trouble. Not at all. I may not go as much as the, I may not go as much as the, the professor, but I visit the hot springs plenty nonetheless. As someone in charge of the size region, this is the least I can do. All right, I need to get back to work. I've got a mountain of paperwork to get through. Uh, I see. Ah, uh, man, don't push yourself too hard, okay? Ah, uh, if you fix the pump, maybe I'll take a little time off and go to the hot springs. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You're really gonna make me, you're really gonna make me walk all the way to ruin. They're making me all the, walk all the way to ruin, aren't they? So, let's ho head over to the Ruin Harbor, head immediately back afterwards because I want to finish my side quests in this area. Well, with the night vision goggles one can uh, on, I can actually see. But without them, yeah, I know what it feels like to be a bat now. There's virtually no light down here otherwise. In the interest of not getting lost, we should wear the goggles whenever we pass through here. Got it. I want to get lost though. Oh god, that's gonna be rough. The not getting in fights part is gonna get rough. Gonna be rough. I can't walk through here as fast as I would like to now. Oh wait, there's red dots appearing when enemies are near. Actually, oh god, that made me jump. God, I'm such a scaredy cat. It's awful. Well, you know what I don't play? You know now why I do not play any um, horror games. Because I get scared whenever I don't expect something. And sometimes it's just not within your power to... Limestone cave closed due to excessive monster activity. <laughs> I can still go in. Monster. Yeah, that's what's right there. Do, 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 do. Oh god. It's like playing a racing game, isn't it? Driving at too high a speed. Can I... 
that I'm glad that that does not work. I'm so glad that there that fishing spot does not work right now because that would have been the most. No, I was at the right spot. Oh, I didn't see you there. Do 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 do. I really don't want to make an extra trip through here, but I'm gonna have to. I know everybody except for Joshua is blinded. No. Theoretically, um, Tita should still hit any uh, hit something. When Tita's blind, it would be nice if she, you know, hit your teammates as well. Like if they are in the circle. And it would damage to do it would do damage to your teammates as well. Although that would be rather inconvenient, it would also make very much sense because if she can't aim well, well, oh god. It's pitch black in there right now. I'd be terrified. Brr. Think about it. A monster could leap at you at any moment, and you'd be none the wiser. I'd be freaking out every step of the way. Well, I've not been freaking out. I've had my goggles. Let's make this quick. What's up? Working hard, I hope. I'm Elvin, by the way. I'm a junior bracer with the Ruin ba Branch. I'm currently tasked with doing the rounds and patrolling all over the region. It's kind of a pain, but it's perfect for a guy with tons of stamina like me. Woo! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go to the harbor. Go right back. Ah, uh, that's an ostrich, yes. I remember that. Remember having reading a comment about ostriches. And how I uh, could make them into stylish. You know? Uh, what do you call those? Uh, stylish handbags and um, the things you put money in usually. Like wallets, yes. I was kind of not remembering the word there. This should be the harbor. South block. Everybody's unhappy, but... The bridge stuck up, so you can't cross this way. There's ferries by the wa warehouse, so if you're heading north to the north side block, best use those. Lately, our members have been working as guides. Ooh, that's actually nice. To be unable to cross the bridge is like, re is like returning to the old days. The ships from the ferry port are free, but they're so inconvenient. I've gotten too used to too easy living. Yes, you have, old woman. With the crane not working, all we can rely on is our arms. I wish that damn new mayor would come down and help us carry the cargo. Oh, come on, don't be rude. Thanks to the boss's orders, we've at least got daily goods in the warehouse. If we run out of fuel or food, we'd be, we're really done for. Still, what is that new mayor doing? The one who's giving orders in the harbors, all our boss, Portos. Portos, do you have, in fact, a couple of, you know... Zekelt. It's not too bad to come in from the sea, but now we can't leave port. At least I've got liquor to keep me company. I'll never say no to a break with a beer. It's gotten better, but the city's still a hell of a mess. But the all-important Mayor Norman stuck up in, in his big fancy mansion, so damn it, this is why we should have had Portos as the mayor. Oh, I'm glad everybody's happy about their decisions. Are you Portos? You, of course. Um, pardon us? Can I help you? Yes, do you have a moment? Still explained the situation and showed Portos the letter from the factory chief. Mm, it's true, I'm responsible for the harbor block, but... I did not want to read that, but... You'd better be off asking Hark about this. Hark? He, yes, he's responsible for freight handling in our harbor at the moment. He should be on the other side of this emba embankment. Alright, he's not too far then. Let's go talk to him. Thank you for your assistance. Ah, uh, be careful. Don't run off and fall into the sea. I'm not quite sure if I can actually do that. No, I cannot. Uh, may I have a moment? Mm, what is it? I still explained the situation showed hard the letter from the factory chief. Gasoline, yeah, we got some. 
It was just about to send it to size when all this happened, so we're securing it in the warehouse. Great. Could we take it from here, then? I don't mind, but there's a lot of it, you know. I really don't think you could carry it, all of it. True. Let's just take whatever we can. We can live for now. Hmm, this enough? Yes, that should be enough for me to carry. I mean, enough to keep them for a while. Well, this is this much is easy to carry. Gasoline tank times th times three. He locked it up. Well, if you need anything else, come on by again. Well, hopefully this whole mess will be sorted before that, though. Yeah, seriously. Sorry for the trouble. This better be worth. This better be worth. Okay, that's the gasoline checked off. Now we just need the engine, but uh, it seems it was sent uh, lent out to ro the royal army. So we'll have to inquire at least in fortress. I see. Got it. Before that, though, let's head over. Come on, run back as fast as you can, as fast as you humanly can. Run by the ostriches. Alrighty. Another race through the Dark Tower. Dun, dun, not Dark Tower, good lord. I'm not that mad. I'm not as mad as the, sh the, the Red King. I, I, wo I wonder what he's called in English. I only read the books in German, sadly. Which is why, which is only because my mother bought them in German. And I did get them for Christmas, and I didn't have to pay a single cent for them, but I was happy reading them. It's a good book series by Stephen King, King one of my favorites. Not actually one of my favorites. I, I'm going to make that my favorite book series for the moment anyways. What? This is not right. I'm glad I have these goggles, actually. If I didn't, I'd probably be boned. Because it looks, it definitely looks like absolute darkness in here. Which does make sense, because how would there be any light in here? Uh, but it, it doesn't make sense how the monsters are still being able to see me. Because look at them! I mean, okay, slugs, they don't have really well developed eyes at all. But if there is were to be a monster down here that relies on its sense of um, being able to see things... Um, they would have a a num. They would have to have a lot of eyes, or like bats, some kind of system to orient themselves. But eyes are convenient, especially ten thousand of them, which is something that actually happens in the dark uh, in the book series of the Dark Tower. There is a, the main character running through a tunnel of absolute darkness. At full speed, being chased by a, a monster with a lot of eyes on his back. Quite the scene, man. Quite the scene. Yeah, well, let's not talk about that again. <clears throat> I practically ate those books. That's how, that's how fast I read through those. Then again, I, then again, I do read a lot of books, so yeah. Um, let's unequip that... Those night goggles. Get that solar back. You really don't need those three movement right now. <laughs> you really don't. You trust me. You really don't. So I might as well shine sphere, sleep blind and freeze. Oh, gladiator headband. Do those synergize? I hope they do. Making me one run all the way to ruin. I can't believe it that they're ten minutes. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have minded, but that tunnel, tunnel is really dark, and I. I'm not afraid of the dark, 
but I'm also not a big fan of absolute darkness. It does make you feel a little uncomfortable. Just a tiny bit. All right, just a tiny bit, but it's a tiny bit too much for me. Doom. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. It should lead to the yeah, Zoldat Army Road. That's gonna go to Leaston Fortress. I wonder, like we're gonna stand in front of the, that combustion engine, and Zane is gonna say, "Hey, I'm already carrying these three gasoline canisters. Can't we at least go to Elmo first and put them down?" If you're gonna do that, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go crazy. I can carry this much. I mean, I can carry a lot, but that's gonna be hard. No, we're gonna put them down first. We're gonna have to come back here again. I mean, this is a walking quest, but still. I was really glad that this game had only very little of these quests run from a point A to point C, then back to point B, and then run, get to point A again to get to point D, and get a little bit of something you run to point B again with, and then you have to check by every single one of them. Anyways, inquire about the combustion engine. Is that explained their situation and asked about the combustion engine? Mm, I'm not familiar with the device in question, but I can tell it must be something important. Wait here a moment, I'll go ask. He... he did not even duck. That's a man right there, that's a man. He does not even duck. I don't know, with his weapon raised like that, he should not be able to fit through there. All right, I asked the quartermaster and there's a problem. Of course there's a problem. It seems this combustion engine is not currently in the fortress walls. But, but that can't be right, Gustav said. Wait a moment, miss. I said it isn't in the fortress walls. We loaded it onto a patrol ship a short while ago for shipment back to the central factory. Fortunately, all this happened not long after the takeoff. The ship made an emergency landing somewhere on the trap planes as a result. Uh, oh crap. We have a real search ahead of us then. No, we don't. So we just need to talk to the guards on the patrol ship about it? I know it's a pain, but that's the size of it. Well, we're headed there anyways. As I said, I think the ship landed somewhere on the trap planes. Good luck. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, that's not gonna be a problem. I'm going there anyway. That ship is huge. It's not that hard to find. Don't make it out to be such a pain in the ass. Walking to ruin was more of a pain in the ass than finding that stupid ship that I know where it is. It's right in front of um, the Carnelia Tower, after all. I do want to finish up this quest in this episode. I did, it was my fault for, I did not imagine that it would take this long, you know. But that's what it takes to be a bracer. I do quite feel like one. Although, in all honesty, this entire trip would take about five hours in real life. By foot, maybe longer. Probably longer, actually. Yeah, much longer, actually, because I can't run this fast. Anyways. We don't need to talk about real life here. We're playing a video game. Doesn't matter. Time's standing still right now. Except for when plot happens, then it's suddenly evening. Trap planes road are going toward the broken down ship that they are not happy about. Doom, doom, ba -da -da -dum. I wonder what the big snakes actually drop. But then again, it's not that important, is it? Cut through here, take a shortcut. Say, who are you lot? <clears throat> We're from the Bracer Guild, sir. Stell's team explained the situation and asked about the combustion engine. I see, I totally forgot about it in the chaos. Yes, we have the engine, engine or cargo hold. Reno, give me a hand. S yes, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting. Received combustion engine. We've got it. 
Sorry to trouble you. Not at all. I'm sorry we bothered picking it up in the, if things were going to end up like this. Still, all this to help get the hot spring working in a situation like this. Bracers seem to have different priorities than we do. Um... Forgive us, we know things are difficult right now. No, please don't misunderstand me. I wasn't being sarcastic. For a soldier, being able to use your orbital weaponry is nerve Being unable to use your orbital weaponry is nerve-wracking. We're all struggling to figure out some other way to fight off our enemies. Meanwhile, you guys are moving around with all the confidence in the world. We could learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> we, um... We're just doing what we think is right, is all. To be honest, we're not too too sure what we do, what we should be doing at this point either. Any all uh, all, uh, all any of us can do is grope around and try to find an answer. <laughs> True enough. In times like this, it's only right that we should be going the extra arch to keep the people at ease. Good luck restoring the hot springs, brazers. Thank you. You bet. Leave it to us. Good save. So who's carrying the engine at the moment? All right, now we've got everything. Should we get back to Elmo and work on the pump? No. Yeah, I'm ready to work on it. No, no. Let's carry this stuff to the end of the game. Let's carry it to the end of the game right now. Oh. Do do do. Do do do. Okay, that was close. If you didn't see that rabbit, I did. Mrs. Mao, you better be happy about this. I better get something good out of this. If not, someone is gonna get her today. And it's probably gonna be a sheeple. Let's just follow the paved road. Works every time. Dum 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 There is no actual way There is no actual way they carried that thing right here I'll admit um okay there's a 12 year old standing there um I expect that her her head starts at around one meter like if she's one meter 20 tall that is really small for that's a really small kid but i'm gonna go with that with that because that every if she was any taller than that those canisters are even bigger than one meter tall they're about 20 centimeters wide well, they're a meter and they're one meter times one meter twi times uh, 0 0.2 meters in, in in volume times three because there's three canisters which which adds up to actually a, a pretty big amount of weight you know that's that's like that's 600 liters isn't it no that's not even 600 i don't even know i feel like that that's a capability uh, of carrying around 600 that wouldn't be right i can't i can't calculate it an hour like this i told you i would that's at least 60 liters okay yeah that seems about right plus that huge ass engine back there that thing weighs about like 500 kilograms Maybe 400 if you're fair, but that thing is huge. That thing is gigantic. And you're gonna make me say they carried, like even the two officers that carried this this bad boy out of the airship. <sighs> I think you get my point. I think you get my point quite well. Okay, I've got the materials. Time to upgrade the pump. Ah, yeah. Still, though, are you sure you don't need help? Uh, um, well... I've prepared a diagram for the upgrade, so... Would you separate the parts like it says? Sure... That seems like something even we can do. Ah, uh, then I guess I will help too. I 
bet Tita moved that all by herself. All right. All right. Yep, it's finished. All right. Good work, Tita. It's nothing new, but you really are good. <laughs> we don't know if it'll work or, or not yet. Let's test it right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like the rotor of the pump started moving. Goodness, I didn't think you'd actually get the pumping uh, the, get the pump working. Thanks, I can hardly believe it. Now we can let people go in the baths as, as much as they please. <laughs> I'm glad we could help. Well, it was about 90% thanks to Tita, though. But that's not true at all. I could only upgrade it because you went out and found what we needed, Estelle. Still, we end up going all over the, to, to, uh, to solve this one. Just another byproduct of the horrible shutdown phenomenon. Very true. Technolo technology ceasing to function, de uh, function deals severe damage to, the, to a society built on it. At this rate, the situation is only going to get worse. Joshua! Well, no need to be so pes pessimistic. Even with, orbments, uh, even with orbments stopped, we managed to get the pump working. People can do anything if they put their minds to it, don't they? Estelle. <laughs> Nicely said. Anyway, it is a job well done. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't go take the first bath for yourselves and relax from the from your journey. I. Oh, I know. Here's something special. Me Here's some spe special medicinal tea handed down in my family. You should drink it when you get out of the bath. It'll fix you right up. Nirvana tea times four. And so Estelle's group took a bath, dined on a feast of eastern dishes, and left the Maple Inn behind them. Quest Hot Spring Restoration completed. Nirvana Tea. HP recovery 100% cures all status ailments. Herbaceous tea suffused with nutrients. How do I... Vintage wine times three. Does that... That seems real good. That, that seems like it's... Cures all status ailments. I'm gonna have to check if that actually um, um, cures KO. That's what I wanted to say there. Man, that took a long time to get that out. Thank goodness the pump's fixed. How, however, sounds like the other orbits still aren't working. I'm sure the central factory folk are having a hard time too. Yeah, Elmo's got a half hot springs. There's just no Elmo without him. I heard from the soldiers here on patrol, but apparently orbits aren't working throughout Liberal. That's pretty crazy. You're not gonna say anything about me fixing your stupid, um, I mean, fixing, fixing your very nice looking um, hot baths? Ah, uh, it's good to have the pump fixed. The inn can continue business. And it really saves us the time of boiling water. <laughs> That's especially helpful now with Orbans not working. I know Mr. Gerwin is as curious as I am, but why did the pump start working? If there's a way to work around this shutdown phenomenon, I'd like it if our guns could be made useful. It's super nerve-wracking not having our guns work, you know. I've got a, I've got a suggestion. There's a combustion engine in there. There's only like three of them in the world currently, but they weigh 500 kilograms. If you carry one of those on your back, I'm pretty sure if you swing it at an enemy, he's gonna be pretty surprised. It could work. Just, just saying. 
That brings pumpers back in working order. I suppose one of the technicians from the central factories must have fixed it. I wish they'd fix the lights while they're at it. Oh, come on. That's, that's gratefulness and that's gratefulness for you. I guess I should be happy about that herbal tea though. That seems pretty nice. Hey you all, good work. Thanks to you guys, our inn is ready for business again. I'm sure it'll be a bit of before the customers return, but as long as they come back, I don't mind waiting. Ah, welcome. The baths are finally available for use. Please relax and enjoy yourselves. Seems like the hot water's flowing again. Hmm, I guess Alvin's prayers, prayers to the goddess must have worked. What is he saying? Ah, uh, nothing's finer than a freshly drawn bath. It was worth sticking around until they were up and running again. Can I? Ah, there's someone. I came to see the baths and the pump is really fixed. Yes, we're back in business! Even without Oliver. Ooh. Hey, you guys. Seems like you fixed the pump, huh? <laughs> I guess this is the second time, but looking forward to seeing you in the future. As guests next time, hopefully. Alright, I am glad I fixed the pump up. I am glad. Nobody here, nobody here. Good. I'm glad I did that, but I'm also glad it's done was a lot of walking around, you know. Let's get back to Sai City and after that end the episode there. That was quite the recording session today, actually. I'm gonna end, I, I plan on it, uh, this being the last episode of it, of this recording session. But I was sure I was gonna get done with this game this week, but it is huge, it is huge, and there's still more to come. There's still plenty of episodes left. Alright. With that, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye!